Hey, it's some old guy coding again. And hey, let's look inside the box here. This came in the mail here just the other day, and I kind of bought this on a whim. I saw, um, you know, uh, this being used as a display for, uh, you know, whatever. And I thought it'd be cool just to show YouTube subscribers, you know, or whatever. Whatever I wanted to put on there, connected up to a Wemos D1 that could scrape the web for whatever it wanted to display. Make a cute little display up on top of my computer screen upstairs or down here. Let's crack this guy open just to get a closer look at it. I'll bring up the the page here where I bought it. It seems to me it wasn't that expensive. Uh, apparently, uh, I don't know how to get into one of these things. There we go. I'm gonna just rip her open. And we get uh, this guy with a, a bent connector on it. That's fine. Interesting, interesting business here. So, you know, back in the day, you know, I'm sure these things would uh, be insanely expensive. Pretty neat. We'll be able to put little displays on there. We've got some uh, connector cable to wire it up to uh, the device we're going to use. And uh... Out here on Hackster, it looks like there's a project showing us how to do this. Um, YouTube uh, subscriber counter exactly using Wemos and uh, Max uh, 7219 and this display here is a Max 7219. It's supposed to be a uh, schematic here. It's pretty darn simple. Well that kind of looks easy. You just dead bug that right over there with a little hot glue. So let's go ahead and wire this up and download the code and see what we can make happen. We're going to not use this little connector. I think we're just going to solder right to the pins of the Wemos. You know, and I'm thinking it probably wouldn't hurt to have a couple of uh, buttons on there too. Alrighty, well let's just uh, point to point wire this whole thing and then we'll build a little case and uh, just stick everything where it needs to be. How about that? And it comes with this nice cable, but I don't think we really need that long bit of wire here. Go ahead and clip this guy loose here. Okay. That one's on. And I can't imagine that we're going to need too much wire back here, but we'll give it a little bit. I'm just going to strip a bare spot right in the middle of the wire here. Okay. That one's on there. And then we'll go ahead and cut this lead for the other ground. Alright, it's on there now. Now we just need two more wires. And that's stuck on there. So we'll go ahead and wire the, uh, the two switch pins into something that isn't being used here. Well, let's use D2 and D3. How about that? I'll we'll just throw a little solder on those two. There. Well, the soldering should be completed. So what I'm planning on doing here is just kind of uh, dead bugging this guy on the back here. Kind of like that. So let's go ahead and just build up a, a rim here. Let's see if we can just set that guy on the back there. Oh, that's not tall enough. So we're going to have to go some more. Oops, I'm going to have to get another uh, glue stick here, it looks like. Okay. I want to set that on back so that it's not touching any of the pins down below. That's okay. You can see there's space between the pins there and the pins on the card. 
So now we should be able to go ahead and wire this uh, up to the display and we'll worry about those switches later when we build a case. And unfortunately I covered up the markings. Oh, oh, oh. The same all the way across. So that's 5 volts there. And then we have ground. And this is ground. And next one up we have D7. D7 is right there. And we have D4. D4 is right there. And the last one we have is D5. And D5 goes right in there. Alright. I guess that's not going to be very convenient to plug things in though, is it? Oh well. It will work for now. We'll think about it as it goes. We can always move it. Let's make sure everything is out of the way there. Let's find a power cord. There. Plug them into the USB. Let's see what happens. Hey, the things light up. Look at that. Well, at least some of them light up. Hopefully that's not an indication of a problem. Let's load some code on there and see what happens.